Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm going to be doing another guide for you guys. So a lot of things have changed in the last few months, so my other guides to link uh, SteamVR to Oculus Home have kind of become a little bit obsolete, especially because uh, Discover uh, WA has been removed from the Oculus library, and also there's been some updates with Oculus itself, and also uh, there's a lot of confusion over how to set up SteamVR. So in this video guys, I'm going to be covering how to uh, set up Oculus so you can run third party applications, how to set up Steam VR so it's going to work with your Oculus Rift, and then finally how to install and configure the Oculus Tray Tool. And that's a really important point because that's how you're going to link Steam VR to Oculus Home and change all your icons to nice looking icons within the Oculus Home environment. So I know there's a lot of new users out there at the moment due to the Rift summer sale. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel so these uh, guides and updates, you can get them as they release. So let's jump straight into the tutorial and let's dive in. Okay guys, so first things first is you wanna go to settings and navigate to general. Scroll down and make sure you've got the latest version of Oculus Home installed on your PC. So the current version is 1.17, but just make sure you've got the most recent update. Also, please ensure that unknown sources is checked on. Another thing I want to mention about the update uh, 1.17 is that it adds a feature. It allows unknown sources uh, applications to be added to your library. So if I just filter them to Oculus applications, as you can see, these are just Oculus uh, applications that I've purchased from the Oculus Store. Whereas if I include unknown sources, it will also include applications that I've launched from Steam VR. So as you can see, I've got Archangel here, which is a Steam VR game, and also Gunheart here. I've obviously replaced the uh, icon here with an Alien Isolation one, and I'll show you how to do that later on. Uh, so just be aware of that, um, you know, if you launch an application and you allow unknown sources and you allow this as well, they'll automatically get added to your uh, Oculus Home library. You'll just find that the artwork for these applications are a little bit uh, not in keeping with the usual style of Oculus Home and uh, I'll show you how to combat that a little bit later on. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and set up Steam so it's ready for Steam VR. If you navigate to library and then go to tools, so tools, and then if you scroll down, there is Steam VR. So just go ahead and install this and then reset your machine. Once you've done that, you can go back to your games and then you'll see this little Steam VR logo in the corner. If you click on that, it will fire up Steam VR and you'll get something like this pop up. So this is set up for SteamVR Home, and then all you need to do is just, if you're having any issues, just go through the Run Room Setup, and it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions how to get it all up and running. Now that we've got our settings in order, we can go ahead and download Oculus Tray Tool. I'll put a link in the description down below where you can download it yourself. If you've got an older version of the Oculus Tray Tool installed on your machine, go ahead and navigate to the installation folder and nab the config.xml file. So put that somewhere on your desktop. We're going to be using that later to add to your uh, new installation folder, and that's just going to basically carry across all your old settings. Uh, so this is a standalone build of the Oculus Tray Tool. This is a bit of a preview build, so it might be a newer version than this. Once you've downloaded it, just extract it and then run the installer. So we're just going to set it up and install it in the default location. And there we have it. Oculus Tray Tool is starting and it's got a couple of warnings so we need to have a look and see what those are. So I'm just going to uh, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so starting from the top, uh, profiles, this is so you can add individual profiles for different games, so you could increase the super sampling on a specific game, for example, uh, I'll show you that now. So you could change the settings for each individual game you've got installed, which is uh, really, really useful. Personally, I just crank everything up to 1.5, so this will set super sampling to 1.5 across the board. 
ASW mode I leave as auto, voice commands I don't use, Oculus library, we'll come back to that in a minute because this is going to be super important to add SteamVR and also change uh, your third party applications uh, artwork to something that looks a lot nicer within Oculus Home. Visual HUD I leave as none, Oculus Tray Tool I start with Windows, start minimized and I'm also going to use the audio switcher. I really like this feature of Oculus Tray Tool because um, obviously I record a lot of virtual reality and this automatically uh, sets the Rift audio and microphone as default when Oculus Home starts and then as soon as you close Oculus Home it defaults it back to your headset or speakers or whatever you prefer and that is really really useful. Okay so moving on Power options you want to make sure is set as high performance and you want to set this plan on start. USB selective to suspend you want to keep disabled. Fresco registry tweaks and uh, disable Fresco power management on start. These settings are only for people that are running inner tech cards. If you're having issue with your inner tech card try playing around with these settings to see if that helps. Service and startup this is just about the Oculus uh, service itself. And then you've got your warning log, which will tell you exactly what the issues are if you've got any problems. So, uh, also here you've got a little help, helpful guide just to give you a bit of information about each of the individual settings. Also, uh, if we close this, then uh, this is a brilliant, you know, Apollyon VR, the guy that makes this tool, he is a really, really awesome dude and he's put a lot of time and effort into building this tool for the community. So if you want to go ahead and say thank you, you know, buy him a coffee so we can continue to keep developing this application even further, then that would be super awesome. Okay, so as I said, I was going to go back and go to Oculus Library. And all you need to do to add Steam VR is press the Add button. You need to restart the Oculus service for Steam VR to be visible in Oculus Home. Restart it now. Yes. So I'm going to restart this machine and then come back to you very, very shortly. But this is a really important step, guys. A lot of people on my previous guides were really struggling, and it was just a case of they simply just needed to restart before the icons and this link would show up within Oculus Home. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back, and now I'm just going to show you how to set custom artwork for your third party applications. So this is Archangel and this is the Steam version of the game. And when you fire up Oculus Home, you'll see that the icons for these games just don't look right within the Oculus Home environment. So we want to change that and make the icon look a lot nicer. And to do that, all you need to do is right click and replace icons. So it'll automatically search for the icons if they're available. So as you can see, they've already been selected. And then you just need to press use these. I've already selected this uh, for Archangel and Gorn, as you can see. Unfortunately, there isn't any custom artwork for Gunheart right now. But just to give you an, an idea of what it would look like, if I click on Alien Isolation and just say use these, um, you know, it just comes up with this warning. You need to restart the Oculus service for the new icons to be visible in Oculus Home. Restart now. So I'm going to restart my machine again, and then I'll be back shortly to show you what the view is like within the Oculus Home environment itself. Okay, so now we've got our Oculus uh, settings all up to date. We're running Steam VR. We've gone through the Oculus Tray Tool settings. I'm now going to show you uh, what the new icons look like and the link to Steam VR and show you how that works. So Oculus is up and running, and I'm going to use the Oculus Mirror to show you what's going on. For those of you that are interested, if you know you want to use this to maybe record videos or uh, or any or anything like that, I'll show you exactly where you can find that. You just want to navigate to your Oculus installation folder. For me, it's on the X drive, and then it's into Support, Diagnostics, and then Oculus Mirror. So there you go. That's the application you need to do this. So uh, if I just grab my headset and move it around, I'm not actually wearing it right now. Um, uh, this is just to demonstrate uh, what it looks like. So, okay. So as you can see, this is where I replaced uh, the Alien Isolation application and replaced uh, Archangel's artwork as well. Um, and then as you can see at the back here, there is Steam VR. So let's fire that up and see what that looks like. And now 
I'm in my Steam VR home and I can see my library uh, just there. So, there we have it guys. Okay guys, that is the end of the video. So I covered a lot in this video, so if you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments down below. If this video was helpful for you guys, please leave me a like. And as always guys, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.